We are not the only ones preparing for the RV life. following the channel you know we have Scout, the bearded dragon, who will be traveling with us full time once we hit the road. Um, probably saw Scout in the intro waving and that was about two months ago when we did that intro and Scout has grown just a little bit since then. This is baby Scout now who is 13 and a quarter inches long. Uh, when we shot the video he was about nine inches long and when we got him he was just over seven inches long. So he has almost doubled in size since we got him on July 27th. And it's right now while I'm shooting this, it's October 2nd. So I um, wanted to show you what his setup's gonna look like on the road. Uh, so if you're thinking of, of getting a bearded dragon, um, it's possible. We used to travel with our other bearded dragon all the time. And um, Scout's gonna do a little bit more traveling than Rocky did, because Scout's gonna be a full-timer. Mm -hmm. Come on, bud. <laughs> Alright, we'll start with the uh, habitat that Scout currently lives in. It's got his name right here. This is a 40 gallon tank which opens from the front, two glass doors, and it has a key to make sure that they don't just swing out wildly. If you're thinking about getting a bearded dragon, you don't necessarily have to buy bearded dragon stuff to put in their habitats. You can get creative, which um, Leslie did, as you can see here. This piece right here, this rock, is one of his basking rocks that he sits up on to get as much heat as he possibly can get. That was actually sold in the fish accessory aisle, so that's meant to go in a fish aquarium, but he loves it. This rope right here was uh, sold in the bird section, uh, but Leslie put some fabric in between the rungs there so that Scout can climb up and get up high and get some more heat. There's a couple of plants in there the flooring is made out of cork and felt. So Leslie lined this bottom with cork. It's sticky on one side and not on the other. So he can grip and run through there really fast with his claws and doesn't get hung up on anything. Um, you don't have to worry about sand messing with his digestive system and it absorbs heat. It holds heat so after the lights go out he still has a little bit of heat in there. He likes his lava rock here. He likes to rub up on that when he is um, shedding because he sheds a lot as he grows. Over here we have the, uh, it's a little wooden thing. It's like a wooden ladder and that was in the hamster yep. section. And that's a flexible thing so you can mold that to however you want. And so we put that as a ramp up to a little piece of wood box that's built there. And uh, so he can get up onto his, his basking rock up here. Now this is a bearded dragon accessory, which you can buy and it, it, it sits up on the, on the log just for extra support. But if you, if you didn't have the box underneath, you don't really have to have the box because it's held on by magnets and it will hold up to um, several pounds and Scout will probably only get to a couple of pounds. So that could hold him even without the box underneath. Leslie built the box underneath which you see here, it says Lizard Lounge uh, because that's, that's generally where he goes to sleep when his lights go off. And do have a little bit of water in there. He don't generally drink a lot of water, but um, there's water in there. They absorb the water through their, through their skin. And then also he gets a bath every couple of days to absorb some water. And when he's in the bath, he will take a drink. Um, we keep fresh greens in there. He doesn't eat a lot of greens. Uh, he's more into protein and crickets and worms right now, but we do keep that in there for him to eat. And on top, you have the heat lamp on this side so that he can bask on his rock here. And you have a heat lamp on this side so that he can bask on his rock over here. And the middle kind of stays, uh, that's the cool zone. So he goes in the middle when he gets too hot and just kind of hangs out there. And the middle is the UV light. It doesn't put off any heat, but it does put off UV, which he needs because bearded dragons don't 
um, produce the nutrients that they need. So we have to simulate the sun. And you also have to give them calcium with their, with their food. So his crickets and his worms hang out over here and we dust those off with calcium to supplement his calcium intake. So everything he eats gets dusted because he's very picky and he won't eat it unless it's dusted. So what Leslie came up with and fabricated was this piece of wood that you see underneath the tank. And that's basically just a piece of plywood right here. It's covered with fabric and it has foam on the bottom. And on the sides are drilled in two handles on each side. So what this is for and the purpose that it's going to serve is we can unplug Scout's lights. We'll put the cords up on top. Each one of us will get on each side. We'll grab these handles and we'll pick up the whole cage and everything and put that in the truck and then we can take that over to the RV. Now he won't ride in there in the truck or in the RV. Um, he'll ride with us. He'll just kind of hang out with us because they can go for a while without heat. Um, so he'll ride in the truck with us. This is just for transporting his, his tank safely. Once we pick up the cage, and we move it into the RV, we have to have a spot to put it. So what we did was we bought these little ottomans that we bought at Walmart. And these are foldable and collapsible and they can hold up to 250 pounds each. What we're going to do is we are going to take two of these ottomans, we're gonna place them side by side in front of the couch area in the RV and we'll place the cage on top of those. Once the ottoman is folded up, this is what it looks like compacts down real easy and you can store this almost anywhere inside the house right now scout has a little playground and he thinks this is the yard so this is where scout does his business he will not go in his tank he does his business out here and we have a little heat lamp there it's just on a like an art easel that would hold like a you know, for painting and things like that, but we mounted a light to it so he can come down here and he can bask on his, on his log and he can hang out. And right now he's over here playing with mama. What are you doing? He's so camera shy. He knows when it's on him. And he don't move. Well, that's it. That's Scout getting ready to hit the road. That's his, uh, his setup. We think it'll work. Once we get him into the RV, um, we can just plug it right in and he can hang out. We do also have um, one of the outdoor screened in areas. We can take him outside and that'll kind of keep him safe from the elements because they are prone to getting like parasites and things like that. And then also, we don't know where we're going to be traveling. So we don't know if there are like birds of prey or snakes or other bigger lizards or predators that may get try to get scout so we have him in a we'll have him in a little screened in area it's like a pop-up tent mm -hmm. and it zips and unzips and then we also have <laughs> we also have the bearded dragon stroller yes. which we'll show you another time <laughs> it's ridiculous <laughs> but when we go on on walks and things like that um scout will be able to go with us yes. in the stroller spoil the rock <laughs> Ridiculous, it's crazy. Hi there. Hi, but <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Talking about me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not nice to talk about me. <laughs> Trying to get back to his house. 